Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, STEM 003 student. Welcome to General Physics 1. Ayan, low-key lang tayo. <laughs> okay. So, module 2 na tayo. Yes, module 2 na tayo. Ang saya-saya. At alam ko nag-enjoy sila sa module 1. Yes, one. ako din nag-enjoy. Uh -oh. And module 2 is all about, mm, syempre, Cal calculating resultant <laughs> of a vector sum. So And for today's to module, mga anak, we have two objectives. Yes. Ang una is to express... <laughs> mo, express vectors into component form. Yan. And second, calculate directions and magnitudes of a resultant of a vector sum. Um, May directions tayong involved. Masaya mm -hmm. to. So... With that, we have to discuss and know about scalar and vector quantities. Ayan. So, physical quantities natin, meron tayong dalawa. Mm -hmm. Yan yung scalar and vector. vector. Let's go first with scalar. So, pag sinabi natin scalar, these are the quantities that can be associated with the magnitude only. So, for example, yan yung may mga distance, temperature, mass, and length. And, so, and when we say magnitude, ma'am, it is numerical specification and appropriate unit. Meron unit. siyang so, specification. For example, meron siyang number at meron siyang unit. specification or unit. Let's say, for example, 7 kilometer. Uh, distance uh, yun. Kung titignan mo, ma'am, 7 ay number, yung kilometer ay unit. At yes. yun ay example ng distance. Yes. Pag temperature naman, mm. pwede nating sabihin na Z, uh, sorry, 16 degrees Celsius. Yes. 16 okay. degrees Fahrenheit, mga okay. ganon. Okay. Kapag mas naman, kilogram. 7 kilogram, yes. 10 kilogram. Length, uh -uh. Pag length 5 uh, centimeter. Uh, 12 inches. Uh, ganon. ganon. Next, vector. When we say vector, quantities that can be associated with both magnitude and direction. Yes. Ito naman, Ma'am Tintin, meron na siyang direction. Force okay. and Ang example natin dyan, ayun nga, sabi mo, displacement, force, and acceleration. Uh -huh. Again, meron siyang magnitude and direction. Dito na papasok uh -huh. si east, west, yes. For example, north, and south. 10 kilometer east, going yes. to east, going to north, south. So on and so, so forth. Yun. Na I think may example tayo dito. Ayan, ah, okay. natin. <laughs> Here are the examples. For example, for scalar. Ayan, 30 kilogram of rice. Oh, alam natin, 30 35 degrees Celsius of room. Sa room, degree Celsius yun. Ayan. Sorry. Tapos, truck travels at 45 kilometer per hour. Ayan. So, meron so, siyang, siya. meron siyang, ano tawag na dito? Numerical. Okay. Meron din siyang, uh, unit mm -hmm. or displacement. 83 nakasama. kilowatts in energy consumption. Yes. Okay, and one hour time duration. So, scalar yung mga yan kasi wala ka pang nakikitang direction. direction. Ang yes. nakikita mo lang is the number of units and, and number of ano dito? Oh, yun. yun. <laughs> Pag vector, eto yun, 33 kilometer due north, papuntang north daw. An upward tension of 8.0 newton. newton. Yan. Okay. And Kapag ang weight... newton kasi ma'am, uh, ano yan, matik na meron na siyang uh, direction. And weight of 120 pounds. Ayan. So, those are the example of scalar and vector. vector. So, meron tayong bisita. Magpapakilala ba siya si Jason? <laughs> Ay, Kyrie! Ay, no! Oh, Ay, two years old na pamangkin ni Sir Jason. Ayan, so ituloy natin. Ay, tuloy muna. Oo, tuloy natin. Next! Bye, baby! Ayan. Components of a two-dimensional. Anong nakalagay dito? Hindi ko mabasing nasa dulo. Ayan, two-dimensional. So, babalik tayo ulit sa mathematics, which is our... Um, Cartesian plane. Tama, Sir Jason? Yes, ma'am. Cartesian, In Cartesian plane. plane, meron tayong x-axis, okay, and y-axis. Tama, uh, ma'am? So Alam na nila yan. Uh, uh, Kasi expert na expert sila dyan nung pre-calculus natin and basic calculus. Yes. So, i-remind natin ang x natin ay? Ito. The, ay, sorry, uh, sorry. Ito. Yan yung x-axis natin. horizontal or yung pahiga. Uh -oh. At ang y-axis natin ay yung patayo or, or the vertical patayo. one. Okay? At kapag hinahanap natin is the x-component of vector a, ma'am, Meron tayong formula na a sub x is equal to a cosine theta. Uh, uh, isa substitute te lang natin yes, yan. Yung tama? theta na yan mawe na pa-importante. It's very important because okay. that is the angle. Kapag yes. y naman, y component of vector a naman ang hinahanap, just simply change this one. So a sub y is equal to a 
sine theta. Okay. Yan. Pero kapag ang hinahanap, ma'am, is vector A talaga. Of vector. A. Vector. Okay, vector. Kasi Uncle Victor. <laughs> vector. O A. Okay, yung A talaga mo ang hinahanap. Yes, okay. A. That is equal to the square root of AX squared plus AY squared. Yeah. And let's take note, ma'am, that the formulas above are good when, when theta, theta is, is measured, measured from, from the, the x-axis. Axis. Ayan, kung makikita ninyo, the theta is measured from the x-axis. Wala po siya dito sa taas. Sorry. Andito po siya sa pahiga. Okay. okay. Next. Paano kapag pinagsama na yan, ma'am? Pag pinagsama, eh, papakita natin yan. Yes, ngayon. tinatawag natin yan na addition of two or more two-dimensional vectors. Vector. So, addition of two or more two-dimensional vectors. Here's our formula. Ayan. So, uh, kukunin na natin ang kanilang summation. Yes. But take note of this muna. Ano yung tawag na dyan? Ayan, we have the absolute value. When we say absolute value, mga anak, regardless of the sign, mapanegative o mapapositive yan, ang kukunin mo lang yung numerical coefficient niya. Uh -oh. So, ibig sabihin, it is always, always positive, positive result. Mm -hmm. Positive result. Maske ang lumabas ay negative, positive pa rin yan. Yes, ang kukunin. And kukunin. our formula is equal to? Yan, square root of summation of x and then e square mo siya, yes. plus the summation of y, and then e square mo siya. Yes, and its direction is found using theta is equal to tangent or tangent, ano tawag dyan mo? Inverse of a tangent. Inverse of a tangent, yes. okay? Absolute value. absolute value of f all over absolute value of k. Uh -uh. So, kapag ang hahanapin natin ay direction, ito naman ang gagamitin natin. Mm -hmm. So, inverse of tan, absolute value ng summation of f all over summation, summation of Papakita k. Papakita natin mamaya. Yeah. Yan. Where Ito summation na. of x is summation or algebraic sum of all components along x-axis. Alam uh, na natin Kapag yan. y naman, all components along, along y-axis. And Ayun. with that, let's now proceed with, with our, our examples. examples. Yan. So for module number 2, let's start with our example number 1. Find the vector sum <laughs> of the vector a and vector b. If vector A is equal to 8.0 kilometer with 30% degrees... 30.0 degrees Celsius. 30.0 degrees Celsius north of east. <laughs> and vector... Epekto ng pang 12 na niya. <laughs> and vector B is equal to 5 kilometer due east. What is the resultant vector R? Okay. okay. So, mag-proceed muna. muna tayo dito sa ating illustration. Okay. So, sa illustration natin, ito yung X and Y axis. Okay, so let's say we have our vector A. So, ito daw yung ating vector A. At ang vector A daw natin is equal to 8 kilometer. Okay. Going east. Going east. And for north, our... North, north, north. North, 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 sorry, of, sorry. East. north of east. For vector B naman natin, ito siya. So, papaganito siya. Papunta siya, jern. Okay? Oh, and our man. vector B daw is equal to 5 kilometer. Ayan. And take note, yung angle natin is 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, take note, express vector A and B in component form daw. Okay, so let's start with our given formula, yung ipinakita natin sa ating PowerPoint kanina. Since A and B yan, unahin natin si ating A. So, we have here, A of X is equal to, ano yung equivalent ng A natin? We eight have kilometer. 8 kilometers. Isulat natin, 8 kilometer. And then, copy, copy mo lang yung cosine. And then, our theta po, ilan daw yung angle natin? Degrees. Okay. 30 degrees. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. So, paano natin may solve yan? Using our calculator. Okay. Mano -mano Using our calculator. Mano-mano. <laughs> <laughs> Ang genius. Okay, we have 8. Siyempre, hindi naman natin pwedeng isulat yung kilometer dyan. So, na natin ilalagay. And then, pindutin mo lang yung cosine. And then, i-add mo yung 30. Okay, so our answer is, it is two digits, equal to, ano, okay, standard. two digits, we have 6.93 kilometer. Okay, dito naman sa ating pangalawa, gagamitin din natin yung sign, same process, we have A, Y, is equal to, ang ating kilometer, ang ating distance na binigay ay, 5.0, 8 kilometer, A muna tayo, A muna, vector A, kilometer, and then sign, 30 degrees. Yung cosine, papalitan mo lang ng sine kasi nasa y-axis tayo. So, using our calculator again, we have 8 kilometer sine, ay sorry, cosine. mali. 8 eight kilometer sine. sine, 30 
30 degrees. So, it is equal to 4 kilometer. kilometer. Okay. That is for ve vector A pa lang. Mm -hmm. Let's proceed naman kay vector B. B. At kay vector B, gagamitin natin ay yung 5 kilometer. Okay. Vector B, sulat natin. B sub X is equal to ilan daw? 5 Five kilometer. kilometer. Next. Cosine, ilan kaya ang ating angle? Zero. Zero. Bakit? Kasi kung titignan mo, no, no, no. diretso lang siya. Mm -hmm. So, wala siyang angle na na-form dito. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin is Cosine zero. zero. Okay. I hope clear tayo doon. Ulitin ko. Padiretso lang siya, kaya wala siyang na-form na angle dyan. Dito kasi kay A, ma'am. A, A I north of east. Yes. Oh, Kanagyan kasi siya. Kay, kay, ve siya. kay vector B, east, east lang. lang. Kaya oh. padiretso lang siya. So, 5 cosine zero. 5 cosine 0, it is equal to 5. So, we have 5 kilometers. Dito naman, B sub Y is equal to 5 kilometer sine 0, zero pa rin. So, 5 sine 0 is equal to 0. So, yun po ang ating vector A and vector B. Next step. Summation of X. Find the summation of X and summation of Y. Ipag-a-add daw natin yung X ng vector A and B and yung Y ng vector A and B. So, unahin natin yung kay vector A. Summation of X. Vector A is equal to the summation of X. Summation ng, ano yung X natin sa nauna? 6.93. We have 6.93 plus 5 kilometer. So, we have 6.93 plus 5 is 6.93 ay, 6.93 plus 5 is equal to mm -hmm. Times ano ba yan? Sorry na talaga. Plus 5. Ayan. It is equal to 11.93. Yan yung sal yeah. Yan yung summation of our summation of our x. Okay. For summation of our y naman, vector A and B na, for summation of our y, we Mama, have... Mamaya, to mga confuse sila. Sorry. Summation of our y, we have, yung y natin kanina, 4 km sa A. And sa vector B naman, we have 0. zero. So, ibig sabihin, 4 km plus 0, ibig sabihin, we have 4 km. Yan na po ang summation of our y. Okay. Hindi pa dyan nagtatapos. May kadugtong pa yan. Sir Jason, i-go mo na yan. Okay. For this particular problem, mga anak, itutuloy lang natin yung kinumpit ni Ma'am Tintin. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's compute for the magnitude and the angle of direction of the resultant vector. And our formula in finding the resultant of the vector is equal to the square root of the summation of x squared plus summation of y squared. Okay? Okay. We, alam na natin kanina, mga anak, no, lagyan muna natin ng square root. Makompute na, na ni Ma'am Tintin ang summation of x. And our summation of x is equal to 11.93 kilometer. 11.93 squared. Is squared. Plus, okay, summation of y. Alam natin na summation is y ay 4 kilometer. So, sulat na natin, 4 Squared. squared. Okay. Let's using... now compute using our calculator. Lagay muna natin yung square root para isa-isa. Unahin okay. nyo na sa loob. Il Unahin natin na sa loob. 11.93 squared is equal to 140. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 142. Point. Sulat muna natin lahat ng tintin. Yes. 32.49. Sa final answer tayo mag-ano. Plus. Obviously, 4 squared is equal to 16. Hindi pa nagtatapos dyan. So, that is equal to the square root of plus 16 is equal to 158.3249. Okay, square the answer. Square root of the answer that is equal to 12.58. 12 Okay, so we have now 12.58 K 
kilometer. kilometer. Okay? Kapag ang kinukuha natin, Ma'am Tintin, ay resultant, resultant vector, gusto natin ay whole number na. So, when we convert 12.58 or rounding off 12.58, that will become 13 kilometer. Yes, 13 okay? kilometer. At hindi pa yan natatapos ang lahat. So, kukunin pa rin natin ang angle of direction. Okay? So, kukunin natin uh, uh, using formula theta is equal to arctan. Okay, multiply it by the summation or the absolute value of summation of y all over summation of x. Okay, so isulat natin yung given ma'am. Theta now is equal to, okay, isusulat natin siya as inverse of tangent. Uh -oh, okay, wala akong pinagkaiba. Yan. Then times absolute value of the summation of y. Four. Alam natin that summation of y is equal to four. four. All over summation of x is? 11.93 Okay? So using, using our calculator, pipinutin lang natin mga anak ay shift tan. Yeah. Okay? Then fraction, 4 all over 11.93 Okay? That is equal to yeah. 18.54 0.54 Okay? Ang kanyang direction ay north of East. Tama, ma'am? Yes. North of East. Pero, syempre, kung whole number ang ating resultant vector, dapat whole number din ang, ang ating, ating angle, angle of direction. So, we have now, when we convert this or rounding of 18.54, that will become 19, 19 North yeah. of East. Okay? Siyempre, meron na tayong resultant vector, meron na tayong angle of director, director, direction, <laughs> pwede na natin sabihin ang ating conclusion. Therefore, therefore mga anak, the, the resultant ve vector is 13 kilometer, 19 degrees north, north of, of east. east. And that's all about module, module number. number two. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Sana mga anak, marami kayong natutunan. At uulit-ulitin nyo lagi ang ating video discussion kapag hindi nyo pa masyadong nagigil. Yes. Yeah. So, ganun lang. Sundan lang ng maigi ang pattern. And of course, be very careful with our formulas. Thank you so much for today. Bye-bye everyone. Mag-iingat kayong lahat.